a lot of times when we were talking, when I was talking about this idea of authority, you know, kind of making uh, an impact, I do know that that makes an impact early, right? But but later, people that wears off, and then they want to see what you're going to actually do. And there there is this. Uh, I used to teach this like Covey workshop thing, and I remember this one distinct example it was really powerful. Um, this this new um, principal, she came into a new school, they had a lot of trouble, a lot of issues, a lot of behavioral things going on. And they, the school is like, it was like, a, it was like a nice little video. I'm sure it's true. Um, cause it was based on someone, but it was like, there was no pride in the school. Right. And like, everything was gross, blah, blah, blah. And so she went into this bathroom and she said, Hey, like how come there's like the bathroom stinks. There's literally, and they're like, well, there's actually like urine, like caked into the floor. And we can't get it out, right? And we've tried, blah, blah, blah. So she actually like went in the bathroom and got it out. And it was like, okay, like we got to pick it up. Like if this is the principal doing this, then it says something. And I, I always remember that story because that was such a powerful example to see how she she did this and like the tone that it set. Because I think a lot of times um, teachers look at a, a, an administrator who is really good at delegating uh stuff but won't do anything themselves and then they're like that wears off do you know what i mean and oh, it's not like finding their strengths yeah it's it's like yeah i don't want to do that yes right no, i totally agree yeah I, like and how do you like how do you how do you model that like what how do you do that in your role I, i'm not willing to get my hand or i'm not uh, unwilling to get my hands dirty in any situation i will do whatever it takes i thought that was going in a different way you're like oh <laughs> yeah i know it's like well, I know not, there's, there, uh... there's a there's a, there's a <laughs> year, year <laughs> in line for me <laughs> but i'm i'm never i've never been afraid to just jump right in and right where i can even uh this morning we um had a standardized assessment we were giving students and we realized some of the testing tickets were wrong Mm -hmm. I have no problem jumping right in and saying, what do I need to do? I'll print, I'll cut, I'll do anything, right. you know, for us to come together and just make this happen. And that's just who I am as a person. I've, I've always right. felt like leading by example is the best way we can lead, whether you're in a school or beyond, it doesn't matter. People are going to pick up on what you do more than mm -hmm. what you say. So I can, and this comes from watching my father my entire life. He wasn't a man who was going to woo you with words. Right. You just watched him on a daily basis and he said, man, this guy's a leader. Right. And I had friends my whole life going, your dad is, there's just something about him. He's really awesome. What did All your dad do? What did my dad do? He was uh, an insurance agent. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so cool. But he, you know, he coached um, growing up. He coached a lot and just people gravitated toward him, towards him. And I truly believe it's because he led by example. And that was mm -hmm. my first exposure to okay if i'm going to lead i got to lead by example first and foremost before anything else yeah and like like when i talked to you i talked to dr beeland so like you're you're by the way your district's blessed to have both of you which is pretty thank incredible you. thank you like both in the same district that's yeah. amazing um and really kind of thinking about that you you both remind me of some of the qualities when it's kind of interesting that you said about your dad of my my father and my mom really? and they owned a restaurant and they were just kind of like like they were just with everybody right it was like they made everyone feel welcome like i remember my dad coming out it was like he kind of like <laughs> sat up when he came out you know because it, it was just it was just interesting and i i feel there's like that that component of what my parents did in a restaurant was something that was like totally in me um when i r ran a school and I didn't really realize it. Like, it's just kind of, you just, but sometimes that like it's modeling leads to osmosis, right? Like that, it just kind of like seeps into you that you just kind of take on the characteristics of that. And I noticed, you know, the more I stood outside in the morning greeting kids, the more staff started greeting kids outside their hallways, right?